Y'all, I came up with even more tips and tricks for the Misty. Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another video sharing more ways to get more out of your Misty. The Misty is an amazing stamping tool. I personally love it. I bought mine over a year ago. Actually, it might have been more than that. But I've had mine for a very long time and I've loved it ever since I got it. But before we get into the video, I want to talk about my class that I'm teaching at Butterfly Reflections Inc. Butterfly Reflections Inc. is a locally owned craft store in Kingston, New Hampshire. And I will be making three cards. They're going to be, well, we'll be making three cards if you come. They will be on the screen in front of my face. And um, it's going to be really fun. It's a two hour class. So it will be two class periods. And I will leave the link in the description box below in case you want to get more info, figure out if you want to sign up, all that fun jazz. So let's get into the video. I always have trouble aligning my letter dies, and this trick is going to help you with that. So as you can see, I was struggling here. So what I did was I took out my Misty, and just like that folding card bases tip, I'm going to use the bottom of my Misty to align the dies. Then I'm going to take some tape and just tape them in place. This is pixie tape, so it's not um, strong at all, so it won't rip your paper. Then I will take that out of my Misty, and the dies will be held together perfectly aligned, and put that on my paper, and it will line up perfectly. This next tip is for when you're using background stamps in your Misty. So what I'm going to do is put my paper in the corner as well as the background stamp. If you've ever used background stamps in your Misty, you know I'm not going to get the best impression when I do this. It's because since the um, the stamp is so close to the corner, the Misty can't, the door can't press down as much. So as you'll see there, I didn't get a good impression. The sides don't have any ink on them at all. That's just because the door doesn't have as much give in the corner. So now I'm going to use my Brutus Monroe stick and stamp mat so I can put the paper in the middle of the Misty. That's where the um, door will have the most give because there's nothing holding it there. So now I'm just going to ink up my stamp again. And then I'll stamp like normal. And as you'll see, I got a perfect impression. And here's just a side by side to show. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you learned two more ways to get more out of your Misty. Just the Misty, it's amazing. I love it. I, I, it's, it's just amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. There are so many more things you can do with it than just stamping, and a lot of people don't know these things. So that's why I want to share it with you guys so you can get more out of your stamping tool or Misty. I have the Misty, so that's why I keep saying Misty. Bye, everyone, and happy crafting.